Today we are getting the final four masks. The Trip, Lucky, Paranoid, and Veil. The first thing you guys need to do is head over to these two doors right here because we're going to go inside. And the location of this building is right here next to the skyscraper and then to the right of this. Um, this is the Trinity Church safe house. So you want to go to the left of it. So north, northwest is where you're going to see it. There's also a control point north of me and that's kind of the general area. You want to go in here and you want to interact with this computer. One thing I will tell you guys is if you guys are going to do this on heroic, be ready, bring a team. If you're going to do it on normal, hard, it shouldn't be too hard. So as soon as you interact with this computer, the whole room lights up orange. The next step is we need to find a Christmas tree. So you see this X right here? That's where you guys should be looking at. Look where I'm at. In between these two buildings, you can see the Haven safe house just to the right of me. But in between these two buildings right here, you guys might have seen this, the Riker area. I'm just going to show you guys one more time, just in case you guys get a little confused. You're going to cut in here through the left, and there's going to be a Christmas tree right in front of me. What we need to do is shoot the star. As soon as you shoot the star, it's going to light up, and it'll start glowing like that. That's how you know you activate it. Sometimes when you do this during the day, it's hard to see. You can do this day or night. This part does not matter. The next step, the next step is going to be right in front of what it looks like a food truck right here. You're going to see a huge Christmas tree on the building and then a Christmas tree right in front of it that looks like it's half dead. And let me show you the exact location. You see the control point to the left of me, Widow's Web, right here, and there's a tree, Christmas tree. As soon as you shoot it, if you look, this tree starts to flicker a little. So that knows that we get it active. Like I said, if you do this during the day, it's hard to see that. So just know you just have to shoot it. The next tree we have to find is going to be next to the Trinity Church um, safe house. So right outside the doors, if you come right outside the doors, literally right in front of the building, you're going to see a Christmas tree. It's kind of hidden in the dark. So if you're looking for it, just look for this safe house right here. When you look up right in front of us, once you shoot it, it's going to light up. Now the next Christmas tree is going to be right where you usually find a boss. We ended up finding a boss here, but there, you remember one of the boss spawns, if you watch my boss locations, the one that opens up in this area around this fountain, once I kill this, I'll show you the exact location. If you guys have done that video ever, if you guys have looked for the bosses, you probably have seen this one. So this one is right here. There's a main mission to the right, Christmas market to the left of me, this bowl house right here, right in here. So you wanna shoot this, this little tree right here, this is the final tree we need to shoot. It lights up, and then you're going to start hearing a beeping sound, right? So there's going to be a package we need to open. Not this. This is for ammo. On the opposite side, right here, open present, and we get a key. Then we get all of this smoke, right? So we know we're on the right path. So we grabbed it, and then we need a fast travel. So there is this Christmas market, like Christmas stage that is just south of a control point and, I, and i'm going to show you a pinpoint location of exactly where it's at we need to get to a generator as soon as i get to the generator i'll show you on the map so it was a little bit dark but don't worry we'll get some better footage in just a second so here we go so right here so you see the brooklyn bridge control point just to the east of it this is area right here and then it's a christmas market once you look at it during the day you'll be able to see it a lot better but this is exact location of where it's at and there is a generator right here we need to we need to activate so activate that generator and then we need to go shoot some targets so before we get into the targets i kind of want to give you an overview of what we're going to be looking at so there are going to be a total of 12 apartment buildings when we zoom in i kind of want to show you what the apartment buildings look like everything around me those big x's are apartment buildings. so this is building number one to the left of me sorry to the right of me is building two this is building three this is building four and then if we go to the left of me, this is going to be building five and building six. Now, all these buildings we need to hit in between a time frame. Then we have seven, we have eight, we have nine, 10, 11, and 12. So 12 different buildings that we're going to be shooting targets. And we have to shoot these targets in the right order. And I'll tell you what ones you have to shoot in the morning and what ones you have to shoot at night. So the first six targets, the first six buildings have to be shot between 2100 and 0530. You can see that by looking at photo mode. So the first target is going to be right here, the safe house that is building number one. Remember, if we look right outside of the safe house up top, we're going to see a target and we're going to shoot it. If you know you're doing it right, the target will not come back up. So that's how we know. 
Now remember, building two is gonna to be to the right of that building. So we're in the middle of that building. See where that, um, that supply cart is? Right above us, we're gonna see the next, the next one. You see it doesn't pop up, so that's target number two. If we turn behind us, this is building number three, and it's gonna be right above us. So that's how you know. So building two and three are right next to each other. Now we need to go to building number four, which is gonna be to the right of building number three. So we have building one, two, three, and four. So go directly to the opposite side of this, and that's where we'll find our next target we need to shoot. So now we're coming up on building number four, and we are looking for the target, which we can see it's right in front of us. It's right there. So just shoot it, and then that is the fourth target. We have two more targets we have to shoot before 0530 in the morning. Now the next one is gonna be the building right next to the safe house. So right next to the safe house, you're gonna find this building, and in the corner, in the corner you're gonna see it's right there. So you shoot it, and that is target number five. Now target number six is the building right underneath it. So pinpoint that and then head there. So for this one, you wanna get a little bit closer. It's gonna be hard to see from a distance, especially since it's at night. So go under the tree. Once you go under the tree, just look straight up and you should see it right there hidden. There you go. So that is the final target you have to hit by 0530. The rest of the targets, the rest of the targets need to be done between 0700 and 1800. So we're gonna start with building number seven. So this is where building number seven is. We're at a, the corner edge of it. And right above me, we can already see the target. If you look at the very top, I'm already looking at the target. So it is time, it's 0700, so we can shoot the target. Let me show you where this is. So we're right at the corner. If we were looking at, if you look at the X, we're looking at the corner of the X. Directly in front of us, the little edge, we'll shoot it. And there we go. So that is the first target. Now we got to get number eight, which is the building right behind us. So this one's pretty easy. All you have to do is go behind you right here. And you're going to see it right in front of you. It's hard to miss this one. So let me show you the X right there. You look up, it's right there in the corner. Boom. That is number eight. Now we have nine, 10, and 11, and 12. Four more targets that we need to hit. So for building number nine, you wanna get really close to it. Look how close we are. If you look right here, it's right there. Get underneath the tree and you'll be able to see it. Now for number 10, that one's pretty easy to see. And if you have, um, right now you can see that we have an elite control point, but I was able to just shoot these without them even spotting me. Just go around the building. As you guys come around the building, it's gonna be on the east side of the building. So look where I'm at. It's gonna be right there on the east side. So I'm gonna go around one more time in between the X. And the target is right there. So you guys see it? So shoot it. And there we go. Now we just have 11 and 12. So if you come exactly where I'm at, you'll be able to see it. I'm gonna show you on the map. It's right behind that little ledge. So you see where I'm at? Directly in front of me where my friend is at. This is where you should be aiming towards. If you look forward, you should see the target. Look for like the yellow tarps, one that's fallen down, and there's one target right there. Now the final target is going to be to our right. Now to get a good shot on this one, you're gonna need to get on the top level. So if there's enemies up there, you might have to clear them out. But take the rope up, and then you'll be able to see this one directly. It's gonna be right there. Shoot that one, and that is the final target. Now we need to head back to that. Remember that generator we went to initially? This is where they are going to spawn. Now, once you guys spawn this, this is the location where it is. You're gonna hit this generator, they will spawn. So make sure you're ready. Now, if you're gonna do this on Heroic, I recommend having two really solid builds. Um, we ended up doing it on Heroic. We could only kill one of them. Then we ended up doing it on his map, which was normal, and we were able to kill all of them. But they are a lot harder to kill when you guys do this on Heroic versus normal. So as you start to kill them, you'll get the trip mask. You'll also get an ivory key, and you should be picking up your um, next mask, the paranoid mask and then go back and pick up all the other hunter masks. There should be four different hunter masks if you kill all of them. We also have the veil mask, which is gonna be this one right here. And then we have the final mask that we need to pick up, which is gonna be over here in the corner and you'll see it. So there we go, we have Lucky. Now that is all 13 hunter masks from Warlords of New York. And it doesn't stop there. You should be having eight off-white keys if you completed all 13 masks. That means we can open up the box that is right in front of the hunters, right? 
So when you do open up the box, you are going to get a named um, gear piece, well, a named brand set, which is going to have perfect intimidate, which to me isn't anything special. But what you do get is you do get an all black die, all gear black die. And this thing looks really good. Look how good this looks. I became a huge fan of this die once I saw it on my clothes. Look how dark my clothes look, straight blacked out and... I think it's the first die that we ever had that dyed every single piece of item on your gear. So this is really, really cool. So yeah, you get the full blacked out look on any gear piece you want. So you can really look tactical if you're trying to go for that look. But that is how you get all 13 Hunter Masks. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Big shout out to Division 2 Secrets Discord for pulling this off. And um, thank you for everybody who contributed to it. We'll see you guys in the next one. Nothing but skills is out.